Team area all day, every day. If you didn't know, now you know. Fifth thing, five little things, stuff. And first of all, let's admire that Jazzy Jazz not only did it again, but she what? She did it again. She did it again. Yes, y'all, I went orange on y'all. So I went orange before, but I haven't did like a long orange. And like I said, I'm just really in the the fall spirit right now. Like I'm really in it. Um, uh, comment down below the room that you think I should do next with some color schemes. So I'm really excited. Yeah. Yes, I hope you guys checked out my last recent video that I actually did redid my bathroom. But before we get into the video, this video is actually going to be a story time. I will be giving you guys story times with pictures and videos and things like that of things that go on in my life that you guys would love to hear about because I feel like some of you guys know things about me, but some of my new babies and some of my OGs that just went missing for a little bit and just some of just some visitors. A lot of you guys don't know a lot about moi. So today's story time is actually going to be about me and my son Daniel. As you guys may or may not know, I do have a son. He is four years old. He turned four um, May 20th. He was born 2015, 7 pounds, 15 ounces. Um, uh, literally on like finals day, I believe it was, or after finals. I really don't know. I gotta really look at the dates again. But <clears throat> what I do know is that a lot of people have massive a lot of story time. And plus, nobody has seen pregnancy pictures of me. So, since nobody has seen pregnancy pictures of me, I decided that the best thing for me to do is to go ahead and, boom, include some pregnancy pictures and the story time about me getting pregnant. First of all, I do not condone anybody trying to have babies just because of the trend or anything like that. Um, babies are a blessing, but they should definitely, they should definitely, they should not be rushed and it should just, it should be, you know, in a in the right time in your life and there's never really a right time but yes so when i first got when i first when i was pregnant um i actually found out with three of my friends and um at the time i didn't really know i was about four months and i had no idea and so at this time i was still cheering and so nobody really knew especially myself because at that time i was really naive i thought i was a girl in a movie like this can't happen to me it like it was only like one time there's no way that this can really happen but it happened you know god said girl you showed out one time and i'm gonna show you this <laughs> and that's kind of how that happened so with me being pregnant um i kind of came home and like um I kind of like, I don't know how to explain that. Like with my mom, like it was like a, we had like this bond and like she would just know like something was wrong and like I would keep everything bottled up but like once a month I would have these moments where I just break down and cry because I keep a lot of my emotions inside until I just cannot take it anymore because I feel like a lot of people don't understand me which um, has been proven to the very day still but I'm still working on it. But um, most importantly, um, my mom pretty much was like, what's wrong with you? Like, are you okay? And I had just went to, um, um, oh my god, what is it called? Uh, Women's Women's Center, and we had actually it sounds so bad and so sorry, Walmart. But me and my friends, we went, and I didn't want to pay for the pregnancy test because my mom could see my transactions. And I was like, what if she ends up looking? And like, it's your credit card, girl. How she'll see that? And I'm just paranoid. Like, no, 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 no. So we get the um, pregnancy test, and my friend he goes in and he steals it. So it's all three of us. He steals it. We leave. We like. So we go, we go home, and when I take the test, um, I'm at my friend's house, and I take the test, and when I take the test, we leave it in the bathroom, we up there talking, we like, yeah, hopefully it's not, and next thing you know, my friend goes in there, she's like, I'm gonna check, because I'm like, I can't. So she goes in there, and when she goes in there, she goes and checks, and she's like, oh my god, and we like, girl, quit playing, and she come on, she's like, oh my god, and I, that's when I found out I was pregnant. After that, I just couldn't believe the test. It had to be wrong. Something is off. This is not right. And so I went ahead and I went to um, the Women's Center, the Health Center for Women. And um, I actually got like a pregnancy test. But they said um, from the test that they tried to do that I was a little further than they thought. So I went into another room in the back. And that's when they showed my actual like belly. And when they showed my belly, it was actually a baby. Like it wasn't actually like a oh it's not nothing big or oh it was wrong it was actually a human in there and at the time i was terrified like what the heck am i gonna tell my mom 
that very day this is two weeks before i turned 18 i believe and so wait yeah 18 I think it was 18, yeah. So this is two weeks before I turned 18 or 19. I think it was 19. I might be, I'm mixed, don't, I got my numbers wrong. I don't want nobody to judge me. Because <laughs> I might have my numbers really wrong. And I'm not slow, I just have my mom right now. Anyway, so um, that's when I found out I was pregnant, came home, and I was gonna wait until after my birthday so I could have me a good birthday, didn't tell her, but I couldn't hold it anymore because it was just uh, so unreal that there was a human going inside of me. So after that, I kind of told, like my mom, she called me and she said, what's wrong? And I'm like, what? It's not what I think it is, right? Normally when she asks that, I go, no, ew, mom, no, for real. He broke my heart. But this time I'm just like, <laughs> she said, are you serious? I said, <sighs> Ariana, you kid. Ariana, and then woohoo. No. It's like she was reading my mind because she knew. Anyway, after that, we kind of went through like a good, like a weird moment of like uh, like a week or two and I you know it was like a week yeah, it was like two weeks and it was just kind of like breathing it in breathing it out and then after that my mom was just full like oh, let's go shopping let's go get this let's go like that let's do that at that time when I was getting raised um uh during that time in that generation it was nothing really at that time where like if you got pregnant at 15 you was getting a gender reveal none of that stuff was popping at that time so i didn't do a gender reveal i didn't do a baby shower i didn't do a, a push party i didn't do any of those things because at that time it just wasn't something to be celebrated not to say like i was disgusted with it but i just wasn't proud that at my age i had got pregnant because that's not what my mom or anybody had wanted for my life even though now day was a blessing and things in my life have changed drastically at that time i didn't take a lot of pictures I didn't want to be bothered. I would wear big shirts around the house. I would eat when everybody else ate. I didn't want special treatment at that time, even though they offered to my dad. Stepdad's like, yo, yo, you want me? It's a lot. So I'm like, no, I'm okay. I'll eat when everybody else eat. And they're like, you have a baby. You're going to eat. And so I'm like, I'm starving. I want to eat all the time. And so that's kind of like the story of me telling my mom that I was pregnant. After that, I kind of just went to school. It was a lot of whispers and things. I remember hearing a girl. Um, talking about like, oh my gosh, she looks pregnant. But people found out I was pregnant not from me, um, maybe from my friends and the combination of, you know, Daniel's father. You know, just kind of just like, oh, she might be, yo. And at the time, like I said, I'm not really paying any attention. But um, I left, I didn't come to school for um, like two weeks. Um, I had got sick. I hated going to school. It was senior year. I was tired. I was aggravated. But um, I did have some pictures of like my very last game of cheering. Um, my very last game of cheering. Um, here's the picture of my friend who sent me a picture of like when I was pregnant. You can see my belly. I'm out of breath. My outfit is tight. Um, I can't breathe. Yeah, I'm still doing the cheers. And I'm trying to put people in the air. I'm trying to be in the air. I'm trying to do the the waves of life last night high school. Hey, colors, I can go. Hey, hey, hey. But I did not have the breath. I did not have any of the stuff that I needed. And um, we were actually trying to keep it a secret from my coach because cheer season was almost over. Just a few more games. But I finally blow. I finally exploded. Of course, the other girls on the team started blabbing their mouth when it told on me. Plus, it just got dangerous because I was literally out of breath. Feel like I was going to pass out because I had a whole human inside me growing and I was ha I was literally stuck in my stomach all of the time you know what I'm saying and like you can only suck in your stomach so much until you know it, to be comfortable at the same time so that was pretty much me like pregnant during school and stuff like that and so then um let me see after that I went ahead and uh, let me see how things really kind of good for me like after I went ahead and I looked at the whole situation, I noticed that um, some of my friends like kind of were distant. They didn't know like how to really hang out with a pregnant person. And I was like, okay. So I kind of lost friends along the way. Um, my family was kind of who I was around, but they had their own type of stuff going on. Me and my sister Dana shared a room at the time. And so I literally watched the whole se season of Lost. If anybody has ever seen the season, anything of Lost, it's a show called Lost on Netflix. It's literally like, 22 episodes it's seven eight seasons and they're all an hour long i literally sat and watched that all in like almost like a few days like almost in a week back to back to back to back to back my favorite snack that i was eating was crispy cream raspberry filled donuts i loved watermelon and um arby's had a shake that i was not supposed to drink but i was so not lactose intolerant during my pregnancy like this stuff really changed you i was really eating cheese and stuff during my pregnancy not getting sick at all but um i did take some pictures around along my process as me growing that you guys can see some of these pictures i actually don't have clothes on the bottom so i'm trying to like prop it so you can see me but you can see i still have to have the same face i look young like i had no business doing what i was supposed to be doing but 
Hey, um, yeah, that's kind of like the story of me getting pregnant and like my whole pregnancy, my whole pregnancy, everything. Um, uh, I had one friend at the time who was around who kind of like went to doctor's appointments here and there with me because like I said, Daniel's father wasn't really active in our life. Like once a certain like period in our time got, you know, because before I even found out I was pregnant, we actually broke up and when we broke up, like... You know, when you cut somebody off, you're like, I'm done with you. You mess up with this girl. I don't got time for this. No, I'm over it. You playing with me. Everybody's like, nobody knows we're talking because I'm like, he's known as, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, he's nice to me. He's coming to my games because of me. Like, I said, I'm cheerleader, you know? So, that's just kind of how everything looked. But, like, that's not really who he was. And, like, it just didn't really work out. So, when we stopped talking, that was it. And then, um, four months later, I found I was pregnant. And, you know, he tried to re-enter my life for a little bit. And just around that time, it was just kind of like, you know. But that's, like, my pregnant story isn't, like, some crazy story. It was some hard times. A lot of tears. A lot of confusion. Um, I did not want to embrace my pregnancy at all. And I mean this in not a bad way. I, me, I say this in a... You would not see me, like, in a crop top and some shorts. Pictures on Instagram showing my belly. I did not take a lot of pictures. If I did take pictures on my phone. And I lost a lot of good photos. But, um, I do want to do a second video. Like, a part two. Because I do... I did record my whole process of giving birth. From, like, me going to the hospital and everything. Because at the time, um, I I was in the running to be on 16 and pregnant um, and I was in the running for being on this show that was like kind of like about moms and things like that and like they had did interviews Daniel's father and his family didn't want to be involved and they kind of needed the father to be involved involved for 16 and pregnant as you guys noticed all the women they kind of have both the parents active and um, it's, it's like it can get invasive I guess but like we did an interview my friends did interviews all these people had did these different interviews and TV I did all these interviews to be a part of the show and it just didn't end up working out because we were missing a key component which is Daniel's dad but um, my whole pregnancy was kind of like a learning experience for me that's why I'd always say like if I ever get pregnant again I would love to do it the right way you know I want my mom to cry not of oh my gosh my baby but oh my gosh my baby and yes you know and I kind of want it to be like a good experience and although Daniel can he will never feel as if like it was a mistake or an accident or we regret it because everybody loves him my mom spoils him so bad it irritates me like when your son when your own son goes to go tell your mom on you because he knows Oh, Gana is gonna have my back. That's when you got a problem, Mom. I told him no. Okay, then why are you so happy? Got hit the chocolate on the, all the evidence. Then go tell mommy. Mommy Gana gave. It's like you know. So I feel like everything happens for a reason. It was the best thing that ever happened in my life because when I found out I was pregnant, I had to get my life together because I refused to be a stereotypical person. One, I had got pregnant in high school, which was one of my goals that I did not want to do, but it happened. But um getting pregnant i was like okay i gotta go to school and my mom was on me so i was gonna go to a local college my mom was like no that's not happening you're going to a college you're getting out of fort wayne you have to get out of here you're gonna go to school every weekend you're gonna come home the bus is this much that's what we're gonna do that's the plan but the first year of college you're not gonna get a job i got you we're gonna do it like this like that like that my mom owned the daycare at that time so Daniel was going to the daycare my siblings there's so many of us you don't even notice that one person may have them dana then nayla then damon then my mom you know what i'm saying then also like my mom had my sister to Kayla like two years later it was just a lot but it all ended up working out perfectly we just all found a schedule with each other and we all just blended perfectly with it and we just made the best out of it but like I would definitely say to young girls out there and also wait before I say that <laughs> if you guys want to see my birthing video and some other videos that I have not on deck with um, my pregnancy that have to do with me giving actual birth this is just like my story time about me being pregnant like, I actually want to see like the birth of Daniel and like me talking you through like how I felt that day the whole process of when I I was going to labor what really happened like what time it was stuff like that i have all of those in another video if you guys like a story time part two about my pregnancy please let me know but for this one um like i said i don't have a lot of photos of me being pregnant but um i do have a few that i feel like nobody's ever seen and a lot of people really don't some people don't think i've actually that dang was mine or that i had him or just like I don't know where people get that from, but yeah. And a lot of people don't know that I have a son because he's not posting on social media all the time, but 
yeah it is what it is <laughs> but um my my message to all young girls out there who are going through a hard time who may be pregnant who may be um active in your life i'll always say one use protection two do not be with anyone that you cannot see yourself having a child with because it has a lot to do with how your child is raised you know you want everybody in your child's life to be active and although you can be with the perfect person they can change at the last minute and you have to understand that but you also have to make sure that you're putting yourself first and don't put yourself in compromised situations and always know that your body is a temple not everyone needs uh, access pass and even the person that you may think needs to come in does not need to be uh, I'm not a perfect person I may not be the best person for advice but as a young mom I can say that you know take pride in your body take pride in yourself and don't let others discourage you from what you want to do in life who you have feelings for and all these things just make sure that you know your worth and um if you don't have anybody to talk to, journal it, write it down because it's amazing how you look back and you're like, wait, I've been having problems with my best friend for eight years? Uh-uh, it's time to let people go. Nothing's wrong with cutting people off. And I and I could be a hypocrite at that because I have a tendency to cut people off, let them back in different aspects of my life. But like I said, I'm not perfect. And that's not what I'm here to do is to be like a hypocritical person and give y'all this advice that sometimes I don't even take myself. But I do want to say that please, ladies, value yourself. Young men, please value your young ladies. You guys value yourself, value each other, and just make the right decisions. Um, don't be peer pressure. Don't think that everybody's doing this. If it's from getting a car, if it's from going out late just spending their mom and if it's a trend if you feel like oh my god it would be so cute babies are cute when you good okay they're cute when they good okay because where i'm at now in my life was not where i was at four years ago and the whole pregnancy process the process of having him after having him the responsibility it ups it up and it you know what i'm saying i missed a lot of events i went to my prom pregnant i missed a lot of events because of my <laughs> because of the situation that I was in, you know? But, you know, I lost some good friends. I made some good friends. I got closer to my family. I lost some family and um, same thing with Daniel. I just want everybody to take this story time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, if you guys want a part two with some more videos and details about the actual day that I gave birth, I would love to do that for you guys. If you guys have any other story times that you guys would like to see or do, um, let, me guys, let me know. Um, this is my story time, the very first story time that I dropped on my second channel, I think. I believe so. But I love you guys. We'll not be here without you. Team Aerie all day, every day. Make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe to my main channel. The links will be in the description down below. If not, if you don't want to even do all that, go to I Am Just Aerie and see that there will be a video posted tomorrow. Make sure y'all stay tuned. And uh -huh, I'm out. Peace.